Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, in a matter of seconds, I'll show you how to fade anything out in GarageBand. Here we are inside GarageBand with a musical jingle that I use as a podcast intro. Have a listen. And well, the typical thing that you might want to do, particularly as a podcaster, is fade out that intro once you've started speaking and begun your podcast. So really easy to do this. First of all, I will go up to the very top of all of my tracks and you'll see right here, there is an icon show hide automation. Click it. Aha. Now I get a big yellow line across this audio track. And also you can clearly see that it's selected on volume. Now, later on, we could get advanced. We could change the pan, echo, reverb, but make sure that is selected as volume. If I change it to something different, you'll see you get a different kind of echo or pan uh, automation bar on there. But let's not worry about any of that and go back to volume. That's what we're interested in. Now, very simple. Where do I want the fade to start and where do I want it to end? Well, say my speaking comes in around here. I can just click here with my mouse right on the yellow line and that will drop what is known as a, a keyframe, the start of my fade. Now I want it to fade out, say, after two bars around here when I've fully completed uh, my intro and I want to start talking, click and drop another keyframe and then just click and drag all the way down to infinity, which means nothing. Now let's have a listen to that fade. Does exactly what I want it to. Want to make the fade a little bit longer? You can by dragging this all the way out. Actually, you start to hear that it's fading out and disappearing into nothingness, which is exactly my intention. Very easy to fade out in GarageBand, and that's how you do it. Let me know how you get on in the comments to this video, and remember to subscribe.